Uh, today, actually, I'm going to do a quick video of my favorites for the month of September. I'm going to start off with one that everyone's probably heard of, one that you guys all know about, argan oil, okay? If my lighting's catching, it's very good. Argan oil. Now, this stuff's really cool. I'm just going to actually show you what it looks like, too. Let's see on the back. And can you see that? It's just, just a simple oil. It's a little bit thicker too, which I like. And actually, you just kind of like rub it through the hair. Obviously, pretty simple. It's for your hair. And it smells like. I don't even know. It's got like a sweet smell. Really nice. Doesn't have a horrible smell to it. Really, really nice. There's some other ones out there. I got this one from flatironexperts.com. And if you go on their website, you can get actually 10% off right now. I think if you spend $100 or something like that. I bought a bunch of things, so this was one of them. And uh, yeah, I got 10% off when I used the code THANKS. So I don't know if they still have that on there. Check it out. They might use a little tip. Okay. Really liking argan oil. You can use it on wet hair, on dry hair. Like dry hair, it'll just kind of make it feel a little bit sleeker, but it'll dry out a little bit afterwards if you have color treated hair like mine really good to use on wet hair if you saturate it near the ends and then blow dry it. Um, I usually follow up with a little bit of my KQC shine spray. I'll just kind of spray it through, blow dry, then flat iron because you do need a heat protecting too so I wouldn't just use this. But really really awesome. I like it. Uh, another thing too, make sure you get a good like a real argan oil because some of the ones that you'll find in the drugstore just have a small percentage of the actual argan oil in there and it'll tend to either dry out your hair or some of them will foam up. If it's a real oil, it shouldn't be foaming, okay? So that's something to look out for too. If it foams up, chances are it's a cheaper, crampier brand. It's not, you're not getting the real thing, okay? Just being honest with you guys. Another thing that I've really been loving is the Maybelline Falsies Volume Express. I don't know if you can see that there, but I mean, pretty straightforward. It's purple, big fat purple, purple pimp of a mascara, okay? Wicked Mascara. I actually used to love the L'Oreal Voluminous, I think that's all it's called, L'Oreal Voluminous, the one with the black and gold tube from L'Oreal. Used to love that. Heads up, they changed their formula. It is now crappy. It dries out, makes your eyelashes all crispy and everything. This is awesome. This basically reminds me of their old, original formula of the Voluminous. It kind of, it's a bit like that. But the brush is a little bit different. It's like a thick if you see that thick brush like sideways it's like that and then it goes thicker and the way they want you to use it is kind of go sideways then flip it that way so you're getting all angles of this brush and it, it's a different brush really really cool it's can you see that it really thickens them up like you can't tell on this side but if you're looking right here it really works I am in love with this stuff if you've not tried it yet run out and try this I give it a 10 out of 10 I'm not even joking it's called uh, Maybelline the falsies and they have different ones of these like this is just the regular one they have waterproof and I think they have an, one with a new brush like one of those rubber brushes too but like you can't go wrong another uh, makeup product that I've been loving is the Revlon color burst lipstick this is awesome this one is lilac this one's in lilac it's 001 can you see it can you see it Okay, I think you can. And they just show you a little color on the outside, which is kind of cool too, because if you if you don't know what you're looking for, you just kind of look at that and match it up. i show you what it looks like here. I've been starting to use mine. It's new on camera right now. Ugh, lighting! Okay, it's going to show up. It looks, see on camera, it kind of looks like a dark purple. It's kind of a purpley, I'm actually wearing it right now. When it goes on your lips, it actually looks like a purpley pink. It's more pink based. I love it. I like it. It's, it looks a little bit lighter on camera, but if, if you were to see me in person, it looks really freaking cool. I love it. I love it. Girls, if you're not sure what to get and you kind of go back and forth with... If, if you're into the purpley pinks, you're going to love this. Like, if you like... I'm trying to think of colors that you like. Like, if you like Snob from MAC, if you like... What's another one? Um, I'm trying to think of colors that purpley pink tone. There was one from Revlon too, Pink Pout. I think Pink Pout was another one. If you like that, like those type of tones, you'll love this. This is like a nice evening color because it, it actually shows the color through. It's not as light as Snob and stuff like that. So this is like, oh, for the fall, yeah. 
10 out of 10. I do not joke, okay? This is like, these are things I love right now. This isn't things that I find okay. It's like, I'm loving. I'm loving. Like, these two things, loving. Loving. Okay, another thing that I love, makeup product. Mm-hmm. This is one that I've been using for a long time. This is the True Match. This is uh, Bare Honey. It's a blush. It's the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Blush. Really is super blendable. Like, it's friggin' awesome. I love it. As you can see, I have hit pan. Boom, boom, right there. Okay? Right now on camera, it looks kind of brownie. In person, it's, it's like a warm tan, kind of like a warm tan. I'd say this is for all skin types, guys. Anyone can use this, except if you're really, really, really dark skin. It might not show up. You'll get like a bit of a glow, won't really show. But if you've got like olive, I've got olive skin tone on camera, of course, I look like a ghost. Um, you should run out and join the cast of Twilight. But, you know, it's, it's really nice. Um, I've got it on right now, which I'll be honest with you, you can't really see because the way the lighting's reflecting off it. But this is awesome. This is like, it gives you such a nice glow without looking really fake. It just gives you a nice, and it's got like a hint of shimmer. I'm going to try to do this. And I'm going to try to swatch that. You can kind of see it. Very naturally tan. Obviously, I did a massive swatch, so it looks a little darker. Got to blend that guy right up there. Eh, okay. Well, doesn't have it doesn't have high shimmer, so don't get scared. It's not super shimmery. I'm going to try to go as close as I can, but just very, it's got like a nice warm hue to it, like a sandy, a sandy tone. Really nice. I'm totally loving this. And for me to hit pan on something means I really, really like it. So this is the bomb I like. Okay. Another thing, this is a new discovery I made a little while back and I've, I've been trying to look everywhere for them. And then it's one of those things, once it rains, it pours. You end up finding the thing that you've been looking for, you find all at once, like a whole shitload of them. So, I swear on my camera, sorry. Uh, okay, so the next thing is these little eyebrow razor thingies. I'm gonna try to, there we go. If I tilt it, you can see. There's all different types of styles. As you can see, there's even the really thick ones. So as you can see, that's a longer, that's a longer blade. These things are wild. I do not use them for my eyebrows because I, I tweeze my eyebrows and once in a blue moon if I'm feeling lazy, I will wax them. But what I like these little bad boys for is for trimming my hair. Now, I did it, was it like two weeks ago? So I, I'm obviously, I can't do a demo right now, but if you guys want to see any requests of these little guys, um, then later on, just let me know. I'll do a video. Not a big deal. I can do it. But as you can see, I've got some layers in right now, like these, some shorter pieces and then longer layers. And I thinned it out a little bit as well. And I did it all with one of these little guys, which is little razor. So it comes with a protective cap. You just take the cap off and it's not going to cut your skin. Okay. These are safe to use. Like it's, it's mainly for hairs. Like it's, it's called an eyebrow tweezer. You can use it for bikini line, whatever. I don't, I just use it for hair and I just kind of grab the pieces that I want. Obviously not the way I'm doing it right now. I precisely grab certain pieces and you just kind of chisel downwards. And if, you know, if anyone wants to see a demo later on, I can do that. Obviously I can't do it right now because I've already trimmed my hair. Um, but when it starts to grow out again, I can always film it for you guys. Okay. So loving these, loving these. This is like, uh, if you want to cut your own hair at home, oops, I'm dropping some, use these little guys. And of course they come in all different sizes. So you can see here, these are the, these would be the smallest and you can find these at Walmart. You can find them at any drugstore, usually in the tweezer section where you find tweezers or scissors, they'll have these little guys. And you really have to look because sometimes they're hidden at the bottom shelves and stuff like that. I had to, it drove me nuts. I was looking for these things for months. These bigger ones though, um, I did get on eBay. So if you have trouble finding them in your local pharmacy, just go on eBay and um, you can find these. Just you know, type in eyebrow, eyebrow blades or um, eyebrow razor. You can even, it says right here, eyebrow razor. So, they're not impossible to find guys. You can find these, but I'm loving them. It's like a nifty little thing that not everybody knows about. So I wanted to share with you guys because it's just the coolest thing ever. It's so easy to cut your hair with one of these, like, cause you, you have more control over the blade rather than with scissors. Sometimes, um, you cut too much and it gives you that straight across edge where if you want the wispy look, 
then you just use oh, one of these. Haha. -ha. So, and they're really cheap. They're like, what did I get? Um, if you get them online, you get a better deal. Like I think for seven bucks, I got like nine of these, the bigger ones for seven bucks. But if you're finding them by themselves, they're usually, you can get them for like four to five dollars and they come in, they usually come in a pack of three. Okay. So loving. All right. Um, another thing that I want to share with you guys, ladies, if you work out and you're doing push-ups or you're doing mountain climbers, for those of you who know what mountain climbers are, five points for you. Um, I got some women's cross trainer gloves and these are awesome. These are in the medium, but they fit like a small. These little bad boys are good if you um, are doing push-ups or anything that you need a good grip on the ground. Cause like for women, especially like you can lose your grip and kind of slip, especially if you're doing push-ups and stuff like that. These little guys, they just, you know, they slide right on pretty straightforward, fingerless gloves, but they do have the padding and um, a little bit of like grip. I don't know, it just gives you a good grip. These are so cute, these are from Everlast. These you can get wherever, Walmart, you can even get them online, and they're women's cross trainer gloves. So these are awesome for working out, even for lifting weights and stuff like that. These are amazing. Uh, another thing I've been loving, the Coriolis Pro V. This one is, it is the red leper, but it looks like a dragon. I don't know why these little scaly things here just remind me of like a red dragon. But it looks like that. It's a thicker iron. It's one and one fourth. So it's, it's a little bit thicker. This is awesome. The reason I got this one is because I wanted to curl my hair. And if you want a bigger curl, you use uh, wider plates. So you can see there beside the chi, uh, if you can see, it's a little bit thicker. And then that way, a little bit wider. The good old swivel cord. It's also got, which is really cool, Velcro to hold everything in, which is really nice. With my new bad boy here, it's got the adjusters. So you can adjust it. It goes from, goes from 180 Fahrenheit all the way to 410, which is cool. And I like the fact that you can adjust it because then you know, you know where it's at. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? You know? I probably will be doing a demo once I do do the curling of the hair with this this guy here but I have been liking flat irons with wider plates because I do have another one the Avante that's really really thin and it's just it, oh, it takes forever to flat iron with this guy way faster if you've got long hair I say go with a thicker go with thicker plates if you want a faster job makes sense right right okay well that's all I'm saying so hope you like this review yeah, don't laugh, future celebrity. No, this just happened by accident. I just happened to be wearing this shirt and I was like, oh, okay, I'm gonna film a video. And I realized halfway through filming that I'm just like, yeah, that's so funny. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, um, so yeah, guys, if you wanna see any um, reviews on any of those products that I just mentioned, um, like a separate review, just all on the one product, just let me know, okay? Don't be scared, don't be scared. Anyways, hope you liked that review and I will talk to you guys soon. All right, later guys.